Hi friends. So I just wanted to kind of show you everything that I have been able to get through everyone's generous donations. Kind of wanted to talk through it just so you could see it all. Um, I'm gonna be heading to school today to bring a bunch of stuff home. So I figured um, that it, this would be a good time to show you because I think I'm gonna bring some of this stuff in. Okay, scroll it down, scroll it down. Okay, so I wanna say, first of all, Paisley, yep. Um, thank you so much to everybody who helped make this happen. Um, seriously, it means the world to me and whether you are a family member, a friend, a friend from high school, a friend now, former students, um, former families, my former kindergarten teacher, just the outpouring of support was tremendous. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, so let me show you what I have. Okay, Paisley, you have to go lay down. Pays. Oh. Okay. All right, let's pretend she's not here. Okay, so honey, go lay down. Ugh. Okay. First I got these scoop chairs and was able to get those at <laughs> Big Lots. They were $6 a piece. I got, Paisley, go lay down, honey. I was able to get one, two, three, four pink ones, and four blue ones, and four green ones. So the green ones are uh, right here. Um, okay. So they also have the scoop rockers. Besides at Big Lots, if you're a teacher and you're looking for them and Big Lots is out of them, they also have them on Wayfair. But the kids can share these because they can be sanitized because they're hard. So I only needed 12 of these. So they're just Um, The lap tables were the next thing that I was able to um, find. All right, and go lay down. Go lay down. Thank you. Um, so here are the lap trays. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen of these. Just in case like one breaks or something. I wanted to just have like a backup. But these are super nice. And I was able to so they're nice and sturdy. Again, these can be sanitized because they're a hard surface. Um, they have a space over here, which we're probably gonna put like a clipboard in, a space for a water bottle, and I'm not really sure what we're gonna put here. So that's the lap tray. Nice, like hard surface for the kids to be able to write on. And I absolutely love the colors that I was able to find. Sorry about that. And I was able to get all of these lap trays at Michael's. Now I will say that I got about half of them at Michael's. Um, okay, so actually I got like two of them at Michael's at Destiny. I got half, the rest of the half of them at Michael's um, on Erie Boulevard. And then the rest I got at Michael's in Watertown. They had plenty, but I was looking for like a whole certain color scheme. Um, so that's why it took me several more stops. All right, the next thing that I have is, go lay down. The next thing that I have is the, these cases and I bought um, an entire box of them. So I have 24 of these and these are really nice. We're going to, the kindergarten team and I, we're going to give each kid their own case and they open up and inside we're going to have individual math manipulatives, pattern blocks, um, dice, um, base 10 materials, whatever math materials they need, they will have their own and that way if we go to all virtual learning they can take this home with them and have their manipulatives with them, we stay in school. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, that fits kind of nicely. 
basically right there. I'm going to this year use numbers with my students and I have everything numbered. Um, that way obviously I can reuse this stuff, but then also like if you're number one, number one this, number one that, number one all the things, so then they can keep their stuff separate. Um, the next thing, I don't know if you can see it over here, but all the yoga mats. So again, I found these at five below. They were $5 a piece. The plan is to cut them um, in half. So they're about three feet per kid. I am not opening them or cutting them yet until, um, so this is the color scheme on the yoga mats. I am not opening them and cutting them until I actually get to school. Um, and I know that we're gonna be there. So super cute colors. You can kind of see like the scoop wrappers. I got pink, blue, and green. So the yoga mats, pink, blue, and green. Um, and then the trays pink, blue, and green, see a trend happening here. Very cute, makes me super happy. So yeah, these are the yoga mats. I have enough of those. And yes, all of this stuff is being stored on my treadmill. My treadmill is getting zero use right now. Okay, so another thing that we purchased are these um, bins, and I have 24 of them. So one for every student. So see, like I have a whole stack of them here from blue all the way up to green. I have some here and some more here. So yeah, 24 of those. And what I really like so much about these book bins, they're nice and big. So what's going to go in here? Oh, and these are at Target um, in the teacher dollar spot. And I'm embarrassed to tell you how many targets I actually went to to get all of the colors that I needed, but it was a lot. And my teammates helped me with that. So the reason why I think these are so great, they have these little dividers, slide them in. And what's gonna go in here, um, they're headphones. So they each are gonna be bringing their own headphones. So the headphones will be in the front compartment not sure what's going to go in here and in the back they have a clean slate that they're going to write on it's like a whiteboard but then they can also um put like a template in it it's two-sided if you're a teacher you know what i'm talking about but yes yeah, so each student's going to have their own bin it'll be numbered just like oh actually huh, that can fit in the middle slot clean slate in the back headphones in the front so yeah everybody will have their own yoga mat, everybody will have their own book bin, everybody will have their own manipulative kit, everyone will have their own supplies, and so far, that is it, which this is a ton of stuff. Um, it's going to be amazing. I have this sign, and then I got thinking, we're not going to be able to use this and take a picture of the first day of with this sign on the first day of school because they can't touch things that other people have touched. So it says first, this is in the Target dollar spot too. It says first day of school on the front and last day of school on the back. Sadly, I don't think I'm gonna be able to use that. So that is it. That is everything that I have so far. And also if you have made it to the end of this, probably boring for you video if you're not a teacher, um, I still have enough, obviously all the money to give a book to every single one of my 24 kids every single month for the 10 months of school. The books are $1.50. That's a huge, like just being able to put books in their hands is going to be amazing since we're, um, if we do give a kid a book, the book then has to sit in a quarantine for 72 hours before giving the book to somebody else. So being able to just hand them a book and they know that it's theirs is going to be so nice and obviously they can take it home. So I'm really, really, really super thankful for everyone's support and making this school year a little less scary for my kindergarten friends than it would normally be. Thanks everybody, bye.